Okay, so in a previous lecture we talked about um, sales minus cost of goods sold gets you a, a gross profit or gross margin and how you can determine a gross profit percentage and things like that from um, taking you know what you sell uh, minus what it costs you uh, and and the the difference in that. Now we're going to take a we're going to take a little closer look into cost of goods sold um, and how you come up with with that figure. Um, now you can if you were to record every single tablet that leaves your pharmacy and your computer system keeps up with that that's one way of doing it uh, an indirect way of, of calculating cost of goods sold is an inventory um, recording and it's kind of done in, in, in accounting um, and so that can be taken a look at we can look at the whole year or a snapshot or or whatever but to kind of take a little like I said we'll take a little bigger look into inventory and when we record our inventory in accounting, we start with, you know, at the beginning of the period, um, a beginning um, inventory. So beginning inventory. And uh, throughout the, the month or year or whatever their time period is, um, you purchase things. You purchase uh, goods. Um, so, in, in the case of a pharmacy, you're purchasing um, medications. Um, so, purchases, uh, you know, from Cardinal Health, McKesson, uh, Marisource Bergen, any of the major uh, wholesalers or distributors. Um, and when you add your beginning inventory and the purchases that you've made over that time period, it gives you a um, term that's called cost of goods um, available or available um, say available for sale um, and then when you so you can you add you would add your purchases Okay, uh, you would get a, a final or a number of cost of goods available for sale, and then you would subtract your ending inventory. Um, so, ending inventory. Okay, and your in ending inventory uh, would be whatever the inventory is after the end of the period. So, say we went from January 1 to December 31st of the year or whatever the accounting period is, if it's the month or um, quarter or, or whatever. Um, you take a beginning inventory and an ending inventory, everything that you purchased uh, in between that. Um, and then once you've subtracted what you have left over from your ending, ending inventory, uh, that gives you our, our figure for our cost of goods sold. Okay, or COGS as it's uh, typically abbreviated COGS. Okay, um, so this is like an indirect way of calculating that. Um, so, like, say for our pharmacy, we have um, 400 and we'll say 400,000. Uh, dollars worth of um, inventory in the beginning of the year. Um, throughout the year, uh, let's just say we averaged uh, throughout the whole year we purchased uh, we'll say three million dollars in purchases uh, all year long. They give gave us a cost then, a cost of goods available for sale of 3.4 million And our ending inventory, let's say that throughout the year after um, our, we purchased everything and, and where we are at the end of the year when we do our inventory, we find out that we have rough, we have exactly uh, 300000 left over. Um, again, so we're, we're going to subtract the 300000 from our uh, cost of goods available for sale. And this will tell us what our cost of goods sold is. So in this case, it'll be 3.1 million. We'll take 3.4 minus 0 0.3 or 300,000, and it'll give us 
Cost of goods sold.